All right, today, guys, I'm going to teach you how to bend a offset with 45 degree angles, and we are going to be bending it on one inch EMT with the Greenlee triple nickel. This is Philip Appleton with Appleton Electric, and this is part 13 of my advanced pipe bending series on the Greenlee triple nickel. This is part two. And we are bending an offset. We're going to be using this one inch raceway right here. And we are going to pretend that we need to offset up on top to this unistrut right here. Okay. Um, today, what I'm going to also be doing is cross checking my triple nickels. So I have these protractors right here that I'm going to be using. This is a Klein one, but it's broken. So I'm going to go ahead and just use my conventional one. So step one, we need to get our elevation, guys, and that is 12 and a quarter inches. And so with a 45 degree offset, we are going to be using the multiplier of 1.4. So we're bending two 45 degree bends, and we need to figure out how far we need to mark our pipe out. So that'd be 12.25 times 1.4 equals 17.15, which equals 17 and an eighth inch. So that's where I need to mark my pipe. I started my first mark about six inches out from the end of the pipe and I'm going to pull that measurement off this line right here and make my second mark. Now I'm going to mark out this second mark and we are going to get this thing slid into the triple nickel. But first I need to bring the, back, the shoe back down to zero. Actually you want to bring it a little less than zero so you can slide the pipe in. Um, and that's half inch, three quarter, and one inch, so we're using the third slot over. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide that pipe in. And you wanna line your markup with the end of the shoe, right there, so boom. Next step, I'm gonna get my no dog leg, because I need to make sure my offset's not dog leg. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that, and we are gonna bend to the 45 degree mark, and I'm gonna check it with my protractor. Okay, very important, I wanna make sure that my piece of equipment is accurate so here we go and there she rips and I bend a little bit over because you're gonna have what's called spring back guys uh, meaning that when you let go of that it's gonna spring dick back so my no dog is dead nuts I'm gonna back this up you pull that piece down the stand down and it will allow the pipe to slide out now I'm going to slide the pipe in backwards, but I have to get the shoe back to zero. So I'm going to bring that back to zero, and we are going to slide the pipe in from the opposite direction. And as I tighten it down, I want to make sure my no dog is level, which it is. And then a little trick that I do with offsets is I'm going to put a level now on the top right here. That way when I bend it up and it's level, I see it. Um, easy peasy. So we're going to go ahead and hit that boom boom zoom and there you have it guys the level is level my no dog is dead nuts and I think we're good to go I checked it with my protractor it, it was spot on so I'm happy with that but now I'm just gonna back it out and let's go ahead and sit it on that unistrut and let let's see uh, if the math works and it does the math is the same for all size pipes and there you have it one inch offset with 45s and it is perfect right on top of that unistrut guys that's all i got for today um i appreciate y'all you guys have a great rest of the day and take care